Our body is an ecosystem that needs both modern and natural herbs to maintain balance. Natural herbs are plants that are used for their scent, flavor, and therapeutic properties. Herbs are among the fiber healing elements because they benefit several parts of the body that help shrink and eliminate fibroids. For example, some herbs boost the adrenal glands, detoxify and strengthen the liver, while others balance hormones, shrink fibroids, decongest the uterus, and relieve severe symptoms associated with fibroids, such as uh, heavy bleeding, menstrual cramps, and pelvic pain. Hormonal imbalance stimulates fibroid development. To shrink and eliminate your fibroids, you must first balance your hormones through several components, one of which involves using natural herbs. Hormone balancing herbs are herbal medicines that rid your body of chronic stress and promote healthy liver and adrenals to prevent estrogen dominance. Herbs that can help you balance your hormones to shrink and eliminate your fibroids include chest, Tree berry. This herb helps to stimulate progesterone to normalize your estrogen levels and regulate your hormones. Ashwagandha is well known to help lower your cortisol level, a hormone that your adrenals produce in response to stress. Preventing adrenal fatigue caused by chronic stress is a great way to maintain normal levels of progesterone. Make pistol is one of the herbs that can help improve your liver health to process, metabolize, and excrete excessive estrogen from your body to prevent estrogen dominance that may lead to health issues like fibroids. Red raspberry leaves are filled with vitamins and minerals that are recommended for optimal health, uh, such as vitamin C, the B vitamins, uh, zinc, magnesium, iron, and potassium. These herbs benefits range from hormone regulation to robust immune system, relieving severe fibroid-related symptoms and strengthening the uterine area. Maca is an excellent herb that works as an adaptogen by adapting to your body's situation and balancing hormones based on your body's needs. Studies show that they work by raising or lowering your hormones to their normal level. So let's say you have higher estrogen levels, it would work by lowering your estrogen to their normal level. And let's say you have lower progesterone level, it works by raising your progesterone to their normal level. Adrenal glands are triangular shaped glands located at the top of both kidneys, and they are responsible for producing several hormones, such as hormones that regulate your immune system, uh, metabolism, stress response, blood pressure, and other vital functions. Like I previously mentioned, preventing adrenal fatigue caused by chronic stress is a great way to maintain normal levels of progesterone and prevent hormonal imbalance. One of the many ways to boost and maintain a healthy adrenal function is by using adaptogenic herbs. Adaptogens are herbal properties that help in handling stress. And these herbs are essential because they help restore overall balance and strengthen your body functioning without affecting the balance of your body system or organs. Again, ashwagandha reduces chronic stress that may lead to adrenal fatigue and hormonal imbalance. Siberian ginseng is an adaptogen that improves focus and stabs off mental fatigue. It also boosts adrenal glands and energy, reduces stress, tonifies spleen and lungs, and improves endurance. Licorice root reduces stress by stimulating the adrenal glands to function adequately and regulates the stress hormones. A healthy functioning liver is critical for general well-being. Antioxidant-rich herbs assist in neutralizing toxins in the liver for easy metabolism and excretion of fat waste like estrogen. Antioxidant herbs are both used to nourish and tone the liver, among other health benefits. These herbs prevent fat buildups that could interfere with the proper functioning of the liver by supporting the healthy removal of waste and balanced hormones. Some of the antioxidant-rich herbs you can use in your fiber healing journey include uh, mixed distill, 
which is the most common uh, liver decongestant and strengthener. Dandelion also detoxifies the liver and gallbladder and supports the kidneys to function better. Another antioxidant herb you can use is burdock root, uh, which promotes healthy digestion, uh, kills germs, and purifies the blood. The fourth and last antioxidant herb I would recommend is turmeric because it is potent in curcumin with antioxidant actions capable of neutralizing free radicals in the body. Evidence indicates that turmeric is an excellent anti-inflammatory herb that can be used as spice in your daily cooking or taken as an herbal extract. Every woman with fibroid condition struggle with their own unique symptoms due to the location of the tumor. Even asymptomatic women often struggle with miscarriages and fertility problems when attempting to have a child due to fibroid tumors blocking the sperm from interacting with fertilized egg. So even though you don't experience severe fibroid symptoms right now, like most women do, that little tumor in your uterus may be rubbing you off of the chance to be a mother someday. Studies have shown that some herbs with astringent properties dry, draw, shrink, and inhibit the growth of cell tissues, including fibroids. And these herbs also help the body to absorb fluid, an essential component in healing fibroids in cases of excessive bleeding. So to shrink those fibroid tumors in your uterus, you need herbs with astringent properties such as yarrow. Yarrow is a great astringent that encourages blood clotting, which helps slow down heavy menstrual flow. Another herb with astringent property that you can add to your fibroid healing journey is shepherd's purse. It is an excellent herb to slow or stop heavy menstrual flow because it contains tyramine compound. Although tyramine can cause blood vessels to tighten, it can also cause a spike in high blood pressure uh, when high doses are taken. You can also use ladies mantle because it has a drying and binding characteristics on tissues, making it essential for shrinking abnormal uh, masses of tissues that are both cancerous and non-cancerous like fibroids. I would also recommend using uh, red raspberry leaves because um, it is often used as a uterine tonic and its astringent properties helps relieve menstrual cramps and uh, other fiber related symptoms like pelvic pain. Chronic pelvic pain is one of the symptoms of fibroid tumors among many others and women with large fibroids suffer the most. So using herbs with alterative properties reduces symptoms related to uterine congestion. Alterative herbs are blood cleansers that support your body's natural processes. These herbs break down excessive matter, such as the matter that could congest the pelvis of uh, women dealing with fibroid condition and restore proper elimination. They can also be mixed as a compound formula in a tincture or infused as tea to increase blood and lymph circulation and eliminate toxins from your pelvis and your body. Two of the herbs with alterative properties that I used during my fibroid healing journey were burdock root and echinacea because they are both great blood cleansers. Burdock root is a well-rounded herb with different medicinal properties. Um, it is used as a nutritive tonic to help cleanse the liver of toxins and build the blood. And also its diuretic action assists in eliminating waste from the body. Some evidence indicates that uh, echinacea can not only help shrink fibroids, but also help the body rid itself of fibroid toxins that are already dissolved. Period cramp is one of the common symptoms that most women of childbearing age struggle with monthly. Unfortunately, many women still believe that enduring monthly menstrual pain is a fate that they must accept which is far from the truth. Progesterone levels naturally increases at the start of the luteal phase of your menstrual cycle. As a result, the uterine lining thickens to prepare a healthy environment 
for the released fertilized egg to implant and grow as fetus. An estrogen dominant state may result in an abnormal thickening of the uterine lining, which may create more prostaglandins than usual in the process and also result in higher pain levels during menstruation. Prostaglandins are hormone-like groups of active physiological lipids found in most tissues and organs. It causes the uterine muscles to contract and induce labor in pregnancy or expel the uterine lining during menstruation as blood. Evidence indicates that higher levels of prostaglandins can cause the uterine muscles to contract more than usual, inducing labor-like pain that you may experience during menstrual cycle. Now you know that menstrual cramps are not normal and you do not have to endure the pain any longer. And although uh, anti-inflammatory pills like Advil and Tylenol are great prostaglandins inhibitors that help relieve menstrual cramps monthly, other healthy options do exist. For example, adapting to a healthy diet may further reduce prostaglandin production, leading to milder inflammation and menstrual cramps. Another option involves using analgesic herbs that help ease menstrual cramps and random pelvic pains. The few analgesic herbs that I use during my fibroid healing journey include chamomile, fever fuel, and devil's claw. Besides its ability to induce calmness and ease stress, chamomile tea and extract are an excellent antispasmodic agent because they can help relax tense and achy muscles as well as relieve menstrual symptoms. Devil's Claw are a group of chemicals known as iridoids, which have anti-inflammatory properties that help relieve body pains and aches, such as menstrual cramps and pelvic pain and other fibroid related symptoms. The third anti-inflammatory herb that you can use to relieve fibroid symptoms is feverfew. Feverfew is famous for its treatment of migraines due to its tranquilizing effects. It works by inhibiting platelets clustering in the bloodstream, preventing blockage of tiny capillaries. Most of the herbs that I've mentioned in this video are safe to use. However, it is very important that you pay attention to the type of herb you're taking and make sure that it's not related to other modern medicine that they don't have the same action. Like you don't want to be taking uh, willow bark uh, with aspirin because those two aspirin is made from willow bark and you don't want to take both of them together. That would cause dangerous side effects. So if you have questions or you feel confused using any herb, do some research and or consult a, a, a medical professional to help you understand what you're taking. That way you don't mix anything that you're not supposed to mix or take higher dosage than you're supposed to. I would also recommend partnering with a naturopath doctor uh, for people who feel confused and don't know where to start or need guidance to use natural herbs safely. Especially pregnant women, breastfeeding mothers, women using hormone therapy, women suffering from endocrine or mental health disorder as well as women dealing with cancer or high blood pressure. Some of these herbs may interact with the medications that you're already taking or any medications that your doctor may prescribe. So partnering with a naturopath doctor or conducting your own research is an excellent way to prevent any adverse reaction from these herbs. Herbal medicines are dietary supplements that you can find in different forms, such as capsules, tablets, uh, tinctures, powders, and teas. And you can prepare your herbal remedies as either infusion, decoction, uh, fluid extract, or take them as capsules. Infusion are teas made from leaves and flowers of herbs or certain berries. To prepare your infusion, boil hot water and pour it over the herb. 
cover the container and allow it to steep for 5 to 15 minutes. Then strain and drink afterwards according to the dosage your doctor recommended or the vendor's recommendation. Usually two to four cups will suffice depending on the herb. Decoction on the other hand is a tea prepared with different parts of herbs such as the bark, uh, the root, the, the branches and some berries. To concoct a decoction, boil herbal components in water for about 10 to 30 minutes to extract the medicinal properties from the herbs. Then you can strain and drink as instructed by your doctor or the vendor. Or you can take two to three cups, three to four cups a day. Tinctures are more potent forms of herbal remedies and you can extract their active ingredients by soaking them in pure grain alcohol or vinegar for about four to six weeks. I prefer this herbal remedy not only because it's easy to use and prepare, but because it's efficient and effective and you can use them for about three to four years. Anyone that is worried about using alcohol to extract the active ingredients in herbs can always use other alternatives, such as vegetable glycerin. The only difference is that the lifespan of using vegetable glycerin is lower than that of using an alcohol mixture. However, if you prefer taking pills, you can always buy dried herbs in the form of capsule for easy and convenient use. Or you can save money by drying herbs and making those capsules yourself. There are numerous DIY videos on YouTube on how to make several herbal remedies. That was how I learned how to make my tinctures and my teas. You can watch as many as you can and learn how to make whatever type of herbal remedies that is more convenient for you. All right, guys, we've come to the end of this video. Please go ahead and leave me a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions. I really hope this video was helpful to you. And if it was, please go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button for me for more content like this. And I hope to see you next time. But until then, bye for now.